this video I'm showing you how to use Roadmaker to import a design into Landstar and uh, as you can see here this is just the road profile surface and um, I've got the horizontal alignment loaded here and these are just the normal PI positions and the radius values and then you can also go and load your long sectional data according to your design so this just shows the vertical alignment using the uh, positional information on the vertical alignment, the chainage and the vertical curve data and, um, and all that's left for us to do is just to enter the road profile but I've already done that so all you need to do is export the XML file like this so in this case um, we just need to edit the file name a little bit and you can save it on your computer wherever you want to in this instance I've got a remote session with a customer and we're actually using TeamViewer uh, to help him to understand what he needs to do so there the XML has now been saved next we will transfer the file onto his WhatsApp uh, he's got a WhatsApp app on his um, PC and that WhatsApp account is also on his mobile device so here you can see um, his WhatsApp uh, and we will now just um, go and drag and drop the file from his file manager into WhatsApp and it will immediately be available on his device on his data collector so that we could just import it into Landstar so uh, the cursor goes off screen it's actually going to file manager and you'll see in a moment that it then drags and drops that file into the um, WhatsApp session and there we go the file is just dragged into the WhatsApp conversation and he presses the send button and there boom it's gone and will now appear on the actual controller so now we just need to um, maybe import a DWG file or maybe even a points file so he just shows us here that he's got his, his view already loaded up there the XML we just created and at this point um, I went and I just said well let's go and export a DWG file from Roadmaker so that's what I'm going to do here and um, I'm just making sure that all the settings are appropriate and um, whatever is set up here these are the actual values that will be used when we export data to the DWG file so we're just going to go ahead and press OK here and here I'm just zooming in on that specific area of the road uh, alignment just to show him the, the changes or the station values that will be shown in the DWG file as well so when we're done we actually go to output and go to DWG DGN DXF and make sure the plan layout is selected and just press OK now Roadmaker will open up the file save dialog we just make sure the file name is correct goes into the same folder and you can just save a DWG file extension there and press save and press ok and that's where vector draw will now save the DWG file and then we go ahead and just drag and drop that file into the WhatsApp as well and send good now we will move over to the controller so look out for part 2 of this video